Hello and welcome to this Haas Tip of the Day. Right now we're going to do some machining magic with our probe and a G68 rotation cycle. This is the fun stuff. Okay, so here's our part. We've drilled three holes and milled a wavy channel into this piece of steel. Okay, so far you're not impressed, but just wait. We've taken one of these parts, clamped it into a vise, and dropped that vise onto our table without indicating it in. All we did was eyeball it and clamp it down. Now we just jog our probe up to the edge of that part and press cycle start. Voila, our tap runs the gauntlet and perfectly taps those three holes. Now wait a minute, let's see that again. This is amazing. We just perfectly traced a wavy channel and tapped three holes in a previously machined part without indicating in the vise or the part. He's a witch, burn him. Now you know that that small tap would have snapped right off had the control not rotated our program perfectly. Let's show you how we did this magic trick. With just one line of code, we probed our XY work offset. And when it probed, it also picked up the part angle. Now we made an entire video that shows how that was done, so be sure to check it out. Now, right now, we use our G68 rotation cycle, and we used that probe angle with it to get everything just right. Okay, so there was no magic, just our G68 cycle. Let's show you how this works. Our G68 is really easy to use. We really just need a couple pieces of information. We're gonna turn on our rotation with that G68 code. Later on, we'll turn it off with a G69. Then we need to know about where to rotate. We're gonna call this out with our X, Y location. I'm rotating about our zero, so I just put in X zero, Y zero. Next, we need to know what angle we'd like to rotate our program by. Now we're using an R pound 189 because our Renishaw probe wrote the angle of our part to macro variable 189. If you were writing this program by hand, you could just write in the angle directly. Our vice was at R 1.321 degrees. So we could just write that in directly and be done with it. Now if we've got a positive R value, it's going to rotate our program counterclockwise. If we're using a negative R value, it's going to rotate our program clockwise. All of this and more is in our mill manual, right? We've got great examples, so download the latest mill manual from the Haas DIY site, diy.haascnc.com. So how do you know if you can use a G68 with your mill? Well, rotation and scaling is a paid option. If you've got a probe on your mill, you've got rotation and scaling. When you buy the probe, it comes as a package wrapped up with the macros option, rotation and scaling, and M19 spindle orientation. To check on your control to make sure that that option is enabled, you'll look at parameter 57 bit 17 on a classic control. If you've got a next gen control, you'll just look under the features tab under rotation and scaling and see if it's on or not. Well, if you got something out of today's tip or any of our tips, then subscribe, like, share, comment, let us know. Well, thanks for letting us be a part of your success and for watching this Haas Tip of the Day. Thank you.